going on guys? I am Matthias and welcome to a brand new video. But before this video begins, I just wanted to give a shout out to our sponsor, Quid. Quid is an awesome app where you can collect dope stickers, gifts, cards, and 3D figures right in the app all for free. It's like the next Bitmoji and it's gaining a lot of popularity. Why? Because you can use these stickers and gifts to text your friends straight in the iMessage app. And you can collect ones from your favorite TV shows like Game of Thrones, Rick and Morty, and even Marvel. Do you collect Funko Pop figures? Because Quid even has those too. Check it out because some of these packs are actually super rare and you can trade with your friends and other fans to get your favorite ones. I'm on this app collecting my favorite packs. So if you want to come trade with me, you can try to get your own favorite rare packs. Quid is entirely free. New stickers, gifts, and figures are released daily. And also keep an eye out for a new show coming to the app very soon. So click that link down in the description below. Click it, download that app, start flinging stickers on with the rest of the video. What's going on guys? I am Matthias and welcome to 10 strange Chinese products that Tanner found on all of these weird and wacky. Well, I don't know if they're weird and wacky. Nah, some of them are. All these Chinese websites, Deal Extreme, Alibaba, AliExpress, some crazy things on these sites. So Tanner here has picked out 10 that he thinks are either strange, wacky, wonky, but I'm gonna let you know whether these items are buy or deny, whether they're good or bad. So stay with me here while I rate them. <laughs> Shall we begin? No link for it. That gets me concerned. What do you got for me, Tan Man? But just you wait. I'm waiting. Hopefully not too much longer. All right, so this next one was sent to us from Kim. Kim. Nice. Okay. What the heck is this? This got destroyed in shipping. Paper pot? Funny stylish interior deco. Ew, what? Why did you give me toilet paper, dude? What is this? You're gonna need it. What is all this? What, what, what did you give me here? Did this come with it? Uh huh. Hit the target? Oh! You're supposed to put this in your toilet and tell people to aim at that target so what? They don't splash? That's weird. Can you imagine, dude? If you have like a dorm or you live in a dorm or you have like a house with like a bunch of guys, like, yeah, use that. But I don't think Amanda would be pleased. To find that in her toilet. She'd be like, really? Like this? This is how you want it? Divorce? <laughs> <laughs> so what is this though? Paper pot. This highly beaten box has come from Asia and this product was originally called toilet bomb. As you can imagine, this caused no end of trouble at the border because the name. <gasps> so they've changed it. I hope you enjoy it. What? How does she know all that information? Oh my word, that's hilarious. Paper pot. Oh yeah, you have like tissues out the top of it. Oh, no, no, no. It's not tissues. It's toilet paper. Oh, so this is for those people that don't have like a wall near their toilet to like mount a toilet paper roll on. Let's make it, I guess. What kind of toilet paper is this? Is this what we have at Hi-Fi Studios? Yeah, one ply. No, stop. Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Is Hi this Hi-Fi Studios <laughs> toilet paper? What the heck is this? Who's in charge of this, dude? I think you like peeled them apart. <laughs> oh, did I? No, I think this is it, dude. One ply? That can't be right. <laughs> that looks like it's right. No, that's right. <laughs> Send out an apology letter to all my employees. <laughs> what the heck, dude? We gotta buy some better toilet paper in this joint. No wonder people are going home in the middle of the day. They're going to poop. <laughs> this is like shockingly thin. This, <laughs> this, there's no way. I can't get past this. <laughs> After we finish this video, I'm going into the bathroom to see if it's actually this thin. I'm shook. How come no one's ever complained about it before? I guess, I mean, who's going to complain about it, you know? What's actually hey, complained about it? Really? On Twitter. Not necessarily about high five, I don't think specifically, but he was like, who buys one ply toilet paper and just like went on a rant on Twitter? <laughs> Respect, dude. Okay, so this goes up here like this. <laughs> yeah, he's the one that buys the toilet paper. So why is he buying one ply? I gotta have a conversation with Woods. Here you go, that's the product, right? And then you pull it off like that. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to... Well, that would suck. That's actually the worst. I'm gonna have to say that one is a deny. Oh, what's this? Oh, just a way to make your phone 10 times bigger and more noticeable when you're filming illegally. Ulanzi smartphone video handle rig filmmaking stabilizer case rig for movie YouTube video. Did you know, in the US at least, you need a permit to film if you're gonna make any money off of it. Mm -hmm. So all of these vloggers, including me, um, <laughs> going around, actually I only vlog in the studio now, but all these vloggers going around don't have permits, so they're technically breaking the law 
law. That's right. Casey Neistat, Roman Atwood. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're lawbreakers. How dare you? But this just feels a little strange. Like you can't make something a little bit smaller just by a camera at this point. It's just like trying way too hard. Like you're shooting on a phone. Just use the phone audio and the phone light. You know, it's like if I'm trying to race someone, but I have like a mini Cooper. You're trying to do all this stuff, but you don't have a fast car. Like you're trying to do all these sweet camera moves, but you don't have a good camera. You don't really need a great camera to do anything, but you also don't need all this gear. Just use what's on the phone already. Add the cart. I have to buy it now. All right, so I pre-assembled it. It doesn't come with all this equipment, but we have it, so. Okay, this is all my gear? Yeah. That we usually utilize in other ways? Yes. The idea here then is I put my phone in this. I do this. What? Oh, usually those are springs. So here we go. Are you ready for this? Yeah. We're gonna take some sweet video. Okay, so I'm gonna press record. Now let's okay. turn on the light. You do not look good in this light. I don't look good in any light, let's be honest. I look average at best. Actually, that's true. Turn off the lights. Someone turn off the lights here. Yeah, you actually look so much better without the lights on. <laughs> I'm not even lying, dude. Turn off all the lights, Tanner's attractive. <laughs> I don't like the way this is going. Turn the lights back on, let's give me a little bit like this. Oh dang, dude, when you turn on that selfie camera, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ask me a couple questions. No, I don't think so, too ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, that's so light, dude. Let's take a look at this little video. Let's see if it's got better audio or anything. Wow, it was so awkward. So awkward to hold that. Okay, here, here's Tanner with lights on. Here's Tanner with lights off, dude. Doesn't he look so much better with lights off? Look at that. Aw. He's stretching. Aw, aw, ladies, don't you just want to cuddle Tanner? Aw. But then, ugh! <laughs> you skip straight to the closer. <laughs> oh, look at you get closer when you're cuddling, and then you're just like, what happened? Turn off the lights again. No, I'm just kidding. I rate that one a deny. <laughs> I, there's too many things. It's a pug dinosaur called the Yoi Lap. Strange pug asaurus. Printed male white shirts. What does that even mean? This is only for white men? The patriarchy, am I right? <laughs> Men's summer sweatshirt. Look at all the different kinds they have, dude. There's for Connor, there's for Tanner, for Rex, then Brian. I could get everyone a pug shirt, dude. <laughs> a Pugasaurus shirt. You put your Pugasaurus eye. Ugh. Zero feedback. Big shock. Add to cart, dude. Oh, gosh. Like a Pugasaurus. Jeez, I guess I deserved that for something. Maybe for the last bit. I don't know. <laughs> the last item. <laughs> just where I just destroyed you in front of millions of people. Oh, this stinks so bad. Oh, it's it smells like vinegar. Yeah, it smells like vinegar. It actually doesn't feel like a bad garment though. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh my gosh. Guys, I wish I could give you smell-o-vision. Here on this channel, people get upset that I have reactions to smells, but you guys aren't smelling the smell, so it's not fair to be like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I mean? Just like, <laughs> Just like that. I mean, that's how I read all their comments. <laughs> if I could make your living room smell like this right now to all those people, all the naysayers, I would. But I feel as if I have a headache now. Oh, that is a denial. <laughs> Rotating magnetic levitation floating show shelf holder. Still don't understand what it is. <laughs> it's like this little thing that rotates that you can like show off your things. You ever wanted to show off how tiny something is and levitate it? You ever just wanted to show it off in a cool way? This is for you. That's a great item to put on it. What even is that? A chocolate bear? Look at this. That car just was absolutely 100% photoshopped onto that. They also say they have like little lights down there. You see on the bottom it says it's got like little lights. Why though? 4.6 stars. So it's got good feedback. Let's look at some of this feedback. Perfect, exactly what we see in the order. I will buy again soon. Why? You already have it. <laughs> That's it. That's the review. That's all there is. Add to cart. Magnetic levitation and rotation display. Innovative technology. Stylish design. Good quality. You can put your planes on it. You can put your cars on it. You can put your perfume on it. For all those times when you want to uh, show off your perfume. I don't think so. I just don't think you can put anything on it. Magnets can be strong, but cheap magnets are not that strong. It's Maybe rare. it's like engaged with some sort of plug. Yeah, see, it needs power. So it's enhancing the magnet in some form. Oh, that is heavy. What? That's gotta be just a, something that you peel off. Thank you, I was gonna say, like, that's not what I bought. Okay, so. Oh, holy mackerel. That didn't scare me, but you scared me. Jeez, dude. That's got some force. That's got some mega force. That's when force is bigger. Okay, there we go. So now I put this little piece of plastic that- Ow, jeez. Why does it scare me so much? Ah! It broke off. It literally broke off. What the heck? There we go. I just feel like it's gonna shoot off and hit me in the tooth. Flying oh, oh my gosh. There's too much force. It's scaring me. You must. The force around you. Ah! Try it. Can't be that hard. Try it. Yeah. No. Try it. Smart boy. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> it got me so off guard. I closed my eyes. I told you. All right, all right, you're right. Stop moving. Oh my gosh, I'm Did over I it. Smash your finger or what, dude? A little bit. Ouch! Just my it's finger. <laughs> Maybe when all four of the lights are on, that means you're good to go. Yeah, you're right. Dude, I was right. You're right. I'm a hacker. All right, everybody, run. Oh, it works. They can't see it. Okay, we'll lift it. It works, everybody. There you go. Not lying. But if I slightly spin it towards the camera. Oh, oh, oh told oh. you. <laughs> Dude, you scared me so much. <laughs> Are you messing with me? No, I'm scared. That was really scary. <laughs> Too scary. Now here's the question. Can you do it without the guide? You can. Ow! I hate this, dude. I, I actually hate this. I feel like I'm gonna get my skin pinched. Oh, uh, that is a denial. <laughs> New arrive, Halloween, the moon mask, masquerade silicone mask. Ugh, the smell of these Chinese silicone things is abhorrent. No feedback. What's the deal? Why do you want to be a moon face? I thought being moon face was an insult. Add to cart. <laughs> All right, Tanner, you made fun of me. So now, smell. Oh no. Am I wrong or am I right? It smells, but it just smells like a regular mask. Okay, well, let's try it. Yeah, it's creepy. Honestly, it's really creepy looking. Say something like in a weird way. Hello, kids. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that'll creep me out. I wouldn't go trick-or-treating around this guy. How does it feel like to be the moon? Do you have a natural pull on things? I have a lot of gravity. So come here closer, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pickup line for the moon. How you like that pull? Oh, there's stuff in there that got in my eyes. Oh, what is that? Chinese matter? That is odd. And there's so many variations of it too. Why put the slits for the eyes above the the sunglasses. Like, why not put them in the sunglasses to hide them? I don't know, actually. That's what I'm saying. Like, you see that? It's gonna be darker in those holes, so if you align it, then you won't even see the slits. You don't want to see the slits. Slits are bad. That's a denial. Before we get into that next product, shout out to Eagle Gaming for being a part of that notification squad and commenting back right when we upload, because that's when we pick these comments for that shout out. Guys, also, should we do, like, more shout outs in some type of way? Like, the odd ones out, I dig the Way he does his shout outs like people do a ton of drawings and then he just shows all of like the talent on screen i think that's really cool anyone have ideas for like ways i can like show the talent that is you guys give you some of that recognition let me know down in the comments below anyways next product mini entertainment desktop bowling game set wooden bowling alley 10 metal pin oh interesting so this is when your friends are like you want to go bowling and you're like sorry i gotta work but i'll be bowling in spirit <laughs> <laughs> you can actually bowl you know just get on the phone with them and just be like yeah yeah i got a strike too just facetime i'm in a real bowling alley look at, this. <laughs> look at this guys i'm not forever alone who's using desk toys that's what i want to know i've never been in any executive office and seen a toy and been like, do you play with that often? <laughs> 59 votes. Oh my goodness. Great. No. Yeah, give it to a baby. They won't choke at all. <laughs> Desktop bowling game is the perfect solution. It fits great on your desk or any other table. <laughs> Please do not miss this nice chance to get a great desk bowling game. Oh, this chance is nice. All right, I'm not going to miss this nice chance. Add to cart. <laughs> Again yeah. with the kids. <laughs> Look at his nose. What is he even holding? I cannot tell what he's holding. I think it's like a globe. I think they thought it was a bowling ball and they put it on their product. And they're like, yeah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> kids killing it with the bowling. Doesn't seem to be made poorly. Looking at it right off the bat, seems to be made pretty nice. Let's find out if these pins stand up. Where's the automated system to put these back up? <laughs> oh my word, the, the bottom of them is so lopsided that it's so hard for them to... Oh, you nailed that. <laughs> <laughs> it slipped. So I should have done this before, but you're supposed to attach this. Oh good, that's easy. And then you aim. But why would you ever do this? Yeah, you're supposed to, you should be able to move the multiple holes on the other side. Right there. Yeah, that would make more sense because it's like the hard part about bowling is actually getting it to be centered. But if it's already centered, you know what I mean? Like the one pill, the one, the one, <laughs> one pill, it does look like a pill. The one pin that is the most lopsided. Look at that, it stayed up. No, I rate this one a deny. Oh, yay. Cool light and music, walk in any direction, anti-dropping function. <laughs> what is an anti-dropping function? Don't drop me or I swear I'll kill you. <laughs> Electric cute octopus. <laughs> oh God. Oh, just the incorrect ordering of the words. It should have been cute electric octopus. Electric cute octopus. Just odd. It's a hanging 
lantern. So it's an octopus that is a lantern that is wearing headphones. No feedback. It's called the Jolly Octopus product show. There it is. We're showing you the product. <laughs> I see what it's saying. It's trying to communicate that it doesn't roll off the side of a table. It can know where there's a side of a table. Add to cart. All right, here you go. I can't read any of that. So we're just gonna proceed. So what the heck is this? You take that off? Yeah, I think you take that off. Why would you even want this? Just to protect the wheels or something? Table. It just ran right off the table. Just ran right off the table. Why would it say it doesn't run off the table? Why would it say that? It said anti-dropping function. Also, how come they all have bow ties? Uh, my guy doesn't have a bow tie. Where do you see the bow tie on the camera? Look, right there, down below. Okay, let's try it again. So maybe the lantern functionality. Gary. That was effective. It was. That was <laughs> Literally it. shattered into a thousand parts. That was awesome. <laughs> the battery came out too. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see if it still works. It doesn't move anymore. Dude, that thing is the most fragile plastic on the planet. This is creepy. Thank you. Did you just decapitate the poor thing? <laughs> <laughs> that is like the most incessant thing I've ever heard in my life. Rest in peace. Original Huawei. Huawei. Huawei, that's a phone maker. Okay. Speaker, subwoofer, speaker, singing swan. Singing swan? Wireless speaker, portable ha mini hands-free speaker. So it's supposed to be a BA speaker. For all those times they couldn't put it in the phone, they're like, we know how to make speakers though. <laughs> we know our phone speakers suck, but we know how to make speakers. Add to cart. This is smaller than I thought. I'm actually really curious. Oh, it's getting even smaller by the minute. It's really heavy. Where's the, oh, there we go. <laughs> all right, good luck with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how good sign is. That's Japanese. Really? It means good morning. <laughs> it does? Bobby Somebody. taught me that. Dude, look in there. What is that little red thing right there? Bacon, oh. bacon. I'm <laughs> gotcha, brother. This is my song. Oh, please, please, yeah. just be mine with anyone else. That means volume is all the way up. I'm waiting for you, bacon, bacon. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. <laughs> There's no pause button. Oh, maybe that was it. That was an off button. There's no pause button. Triggered. No pause button. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? I guess maybe it's supposed to be like some mood lighting in there that like lights up. I don't know. It's not a good sounding speaker. $21 should get you a much better sounding speaker than that. That's what I expect from $21 speakers. Okay. For that reason, then I'll give it a buy, but don't buy it. Yeah, just spend a little bit more money for a better speaker. <laughs> Tries to catch it. <laughs> New strange trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh Great gosh. start to this product. Wacky cave can M. Cave can M? Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, so I just came back from the bathroom because I drank a ton of water in the previous shoot and I actually came back with toilet paper. I can confirm that this is two ply toilet paper. Look at this. I do spoil my high five crew. <laughs> <laughs> so we must have just, oh look, two ply. Wait, what? When did that happen? Dude, no. Are you guys playing tricks on me? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the heck, bro? Yeah, it was one ply earlier. Like, I'm sure it was. Unless it was split and we just were unrolling one split. <sighs> but then where would the, I don't know. So back to this product. Desktop funny family party electric sound dog. Creative parent child interactive toys. Woof woof. You try to steal its bones and then it barks at you. Maybe that's it. So it's like a game of uh, don't wake daddy or like operation in a sense. Like you're trying to do this thing real sneaky. And you're like, oh my gosh, don't wake up the doggy. Ah, it's gonna kill you. It's gonna maul you. I get you. I don't think there's any reviews. Nope, no reviews. No one's brave enough to buy it. Add to cart. Wow, this looks like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it came with some Yu-Gi-Oh stickers? Dragon Ball Z stickers? Dragon Ball Z stickers. <laughs> I, almost, I almost just triggered an entire community of people. Yu-Gi-Oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is big. Oh. oh, okay, so you have cards that you have to draw. So how do we play? Oh. <laughs> I'm assuming all we gotta do is just dump these puppies in and pull a card. On button's right here. Ready for this, Tanner? Yeah, let's do this. Pull a card. One white bone. That is so loud. Okay. I'm the master. Three? Good luck Three with that. yellow? Yeah, you're a goner. One. What wakes him up? Two. I have no idea. He's getting scarier. Okay, go. Your turn. 
I got it. Two yellow. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's gonna be hard. Stop. What is gonna happen? What triggers him? Can I just be a <laughs> 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 Stop! That was the scariest thing I've ever experienced! <laughs> He's on the ground! I just had flashbacks to my childhood, dude! <laughs> like dog attacks! That's like PTSD right there! Holy <laughs> moly! I would have never thought you would have had such a reaction! <laughs> I literally couldn't have hoped for a more intense oh. reaction. Dude, it's because it, that was actually really quick! So let's put this back down here. The idea here was that you pressed this down or something. Actually, I don't know. You definitely did something. That's what it is. You pressed down inside it? Yeah. So what's inside there? Still oh, me. oh, okay, okay. There's a little button in here. But in Tanner's defense, this is what it looked like to him. That's scary, dude. This is actually not bad, dude. This is actually a fun game. I'm gonna say buy it. Dude, I might give it to like Team Edge or something like that. Don't wake doggy. Fashion thermal heat induction case for iPhone 7, 7 plus thermal sensor, color changing soft back. I love soft backs, baby. It's like a mood ring for your iPhone. Look, whose hand is that small? A kid's know. hand. Yeah. And they shouldn't be touching chemicals, whatever kind of chemicals are in this. Feedback, two. Sent case, one. Dispute money opened after return seller, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. Four dollars. All right, add to cart. Okay, so this right here is a thermal iPhone case. So it's supposed to, by the touch of your hand, and detect heat and then change color accordingly. So far, nothing's happening. So let's just hold my thumb down like that and nothing. Let's hold for like a little bit longer here. Literally nothing. My hands are warm too. I feel the phone case is colder, meaning my heat is transferring. Just nothing, absolutely nothing. Here's what we gotta do. Let's actually give it some real heat. Okay. Flames. Don't play with flames at home, kid. That makes sense, right? Don't yeah. play with flames at home, kids. Yeah. Adults, play all you want. <laughs> but don't, really. All right, so check this out. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's Instantly. awesome. Instantly, but why has it gotta be so hot? It's not gonna ever make a difference. Maybe if, if your phone is like really starting to heat up to the point where it like almost burns you, then you look at your case, it's yellow, and you're like, oh, this is gonna explode soon. I shouldn't <laughs> have it in my pocket. And then it goes right back. That's kind of cool. I get that, but. Bleh. You know? Yeah. It'd be cool if it actually did it to your hand, but it's just not doing that at all. Let's get this whole entire phone case yellow. Look at that. That's that's really interesting. That looks really cool. It's not even hot either, because you're barely touching it. It just needs like just a little bit more warmth than what your hands can do, which is interesting, but disappointing because no one's that hot. You know what I'm saying? This phone really expects everyone to be like tens. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there you go, and then it changes back. So if you're like, you know what? I'm feeling hot today. I'm gonna put out my yellow case. You don't have to. You could just put it on your body if you're that hot, you know, and your case will automatically turn yellow. If it changed based on your hand, then I'd have rated it uh, buy it, but it is a deny it. That right there is a psychic fidget spinner. <laughs> I squeaked, didn't I? A psychic fidget spinner. It's really interesting. You could spin it and tell someone's future. This over here is me reacting to 10 different prank products, and we choose one to prank someone in the office. So click on either one of these, and if you're new here, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to get more of these videos in the future, and we'll see you next time. High five.